Hi, I'm making this quick video to show you how to load a Captivate module into Canvas. Um, there's two ways to do it, and this is the first way. The first way is by um, saving it as a SCORM module and then importing the SCORM module so that it um, it loads into Canvas. Okay, there's different reasons why you might want to do each, and they come down to whether or not there's a quiz included. If there's no quiz, you may have to host it on our virtual server and then send it in. If there's a quiz, you can usually uh, do it in, in as a SCORM module. I'm showing the SCORM module way first. So here it is in Captivate. I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, preferences to make sure that it's okay to save correctly. And so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, is see if there's a quiz here. And so enable quiz reporting. It's other standard LMSs, which is um, what the uh, Canvas is. SCORM 1.2. We're going to go to configure and we're going to put a course ID in here. And this one is, um, this one's going to be, um, uh, I'm going to put it for CT for carpal tunnel. I'm going to call it 07. And then I'm going to put a compressive neuropathy. I'll just put something here. And then, and then um, I'll just put compressive. That's going to be, it's like a little code in front. I'm going to put compressive neuropathy here. This will show up in the list in the, um, in Canvas. Uh, first version of it. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm going to put um, SEO so I see where this goes. And I'm going to put uh, Carpal Tunnel 07 so we know what it is. I'm going to put it here too so we can see where this came from because this is actually new. So CP07. And then we just have to go through a few of these other things here. We want to report this as points. Um, we That's fine to say that. Uh, that's fine here. Uh, all this is fine. Um, so we are good to go on this. I'm just going to go through these and make sure nothing's bad here real quick. Carpal tunnel, not intro. This is compressive, uh, compressive neuropathy. This is what it's going to call the quiz in the, in the grade book when we load it into Canvas. And these are, I'm not going to change this. They might not work right, but that's not for me to decide. That's, and uh, we'll say, we'll just leave this stuff here. Um, that just controls how the quiz goes. Um, general settings, these are fine. So we just have to make sure that that looks kind of like that. And then we just say uh, publish. Uh, publish to computer and um, normally I'd put this on the virtual drive but it takes too long for me to show you here on this um, as a demonstration so I'm going to leave it as just HTML5 uh, itself not HTML5 and Shockwave Flash I'm just going to highlight the HTML5 zip it scalable HTML content where is it going to go normally I put it on the team drives right now I'm going to switch it to uh, my downloads folder we're going to go to choose and then um, we're going to go publish. It'll be done in a lickety split here. And then, yeah, that was a short one, so that was pretty fast. So that's getting published as a zip file, which is the important thing. Oh, it says it's done successfully. So then we go over here to this is the uh, ughinstructure.com website so we're going to go to if I'm going to show you something first if you look in the grades in the grade book here's all the stuff we have loaded now uh, you don't uh, introductions there but you can't see the I'll scoot it over there's no um, number seven there so it's not there now and um, oops going back in and if you look under modules you won't see it uh, let me scoot this up you won't see it down there so um Let's see, I'm going to make the web page a little smaller so you have to scroll to fit it in the window here. There we go. And you don't see an 07 workplace management. We're going to go to SCORM. This is what you do. You go to SCORM. And then we, um, I made a boo-boo on some of these. I didn't name them correctly. So I'm going to go to um, Upload. And then I'm going to click on the carpal tunnel, this one here. And uh, I'm going to click OK. And it's loading it, and it was called. Uh, it was module seven, compressive neuropathies. I think it was misnamed a little bit. I think that the first one was probably named introduction, and then several were made 
copying it, so that's why it shows up that way. But then here we go, compressive neuropathy. So that showed up okay, and it wasn't the one that started with the SCO, so it was at the top of our, um, you know, that naming thing we did. So import it as a graded assignment. Uh, we're gonna say go, graded assignment, cool. So then we just go in here and we look under uh, modules, and then you'll see that uh, it's this is not showing up here yet, but what we will do is we will go to assignments, and we will see, uh, there should be, here it is, there's compressive neuropathy is here. It is now published. Um, if we uh, load it, it should load in the window here. And, um, oh, looks like it's taking a little while. But what we can do here in the modules is we can add one. That's, we can add uh, here, we add an assignment. You go uh, from our assignments page, and it's just right there. And then you go add item. It says it's 100 points, we can um, we can change that and we can edit it name to uh, 07, compressive neuropathy. We want to dent it, and then it should be the actual, um, it should load here. And um, and here we go, it's working. So that's the uh, that's the module, and that's how you load it into into Canvas. So that's uh, using the, the the first way, the easiest way without me having to load it to the virtual server and it uh, it ought to work. The sound's not working now because I'm using the microphone. I've taken over the sound stuff, but um, um, it, it ought to work. So anyway, um, I uh, hope this helps you and take care. Bye-bye.